to do. gas in it. See how the air gets stuck in the little sponge, the foam there? Tip it over, get the air out. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Doing, bud? Oh, yeah. I don't know if we use the fishing pole for that, though. So I picked up this little uh, dethatching attachment for a walk behind a Facebook marketplace. It's for a 21 inch mower, but we're gonna see if we can't figure out how to make it work on this 30 inch mower and see what kind of results we get. Yeah. 
That'll work. So we went over the same area. Uh, first we mulched it, then we baked it, and that was this pile, you saw that. And then uh, the, the third mow of it, we ran the tined dethatcher on the Toro 30 inch walk behind. And this is what we got. This is uh, actual results, same area, uh, third cut. This pile that was the second cut and baked is much more green. This pile is much more yellowish, uh, dead debris. Uh, so can you put a tiny D thatcher on a 30 inch Toro? Yeah. Can you get good results? Well, it's not a power rake. And that's not really what we were trying to do. But I think the results speak for themselves that yeah, you can do it and it does do a good job. It does better than mulching plus bagging. Uh, and the results speak for themselves. So thanks for watching. I, I hope you uh, enjoyed this and hope it, that I gave you the motivation to go build your own dethatching attachment for your uh, walk behind lawnmower. If you like it, <laughs> please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.